Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I don't know what today is going to be. Clearly you can see I have no makeup on. My hair is up in a messy bun. Um, I don't know what this video is going to look like. Um, I think I'm going to incorporate my PTSD anxiety journey with a clean with me because our apartment is in desperate need of cleaning. <gasps> Huffy little jelly bean. Um, so yeah, so this video is, I mean, for her and for my son and um, I'll do probably voiceovers um, as I'm cleaning and I'm just going to be really honest and show you the state of... <gasps> I know I wanted to tell my story about walking through PTSD and anxiety and all that kind of stuff and I'm still struggling. This morning I've just been literally laying here watching clean with me videos, organizing videos and was like okay what if I just did that? What if I just started cleaning because you guys, you guys will see very shortly the apartment over the last few days has gotten messy. Dave has been working and I have been very very anxious the last few days um it's been hard on all of us in different ways i mean me going through it the kids obviously having to see it and i do my best to try and shield them from as much of it as possible sometimes it's hard like physically mentally everything and it's really hard when the symptoms feel really real you feel like you're having a heart attack okay so i had a letter in the room which is totally fine you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's gonna help me clean and this is just gonna be a really real like clean with me I just need to get this place cleaned up so if you can grab a snack or you can clean along with me if you'd like I'm gonna try and get as much of this apartment clean today as I can and I think I'll be explaining what it's been like for me over the last few years okay let's clean so my journey with PTSD started uh, heavily in 2020. We spent every other day giving him infusions through his port. We would have to hold him down and he would scream and cry and look us in the eyes and say, please stop, please stop, mommy stop, mommy stop. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't stop, he needed this medication. Um, I didn't process anything. I didn't allow myself to process, I didn't allow myself to do anything, really. I just moved on to the next thing. His next infusion, his next appointment, the next thing. My dad um, fell and broke his hip, got very sick, was in and out of the hospital for a few years, and it was just on to the next thing. There was no time to process anything. Um, and that's how I had lived my whole life. I didn't process anything, none of the trauma, none of it and my body had finally decided enough was enough. We can't do this anymore. It has become debilitating to the point where leaving the house is can be very scary. Uh, grocery shopping can bring on panic. The light, the, it's the lighting. The lighting in grocery stores remind me of the lighting in the hospital, so it's a trigger while I'm in the grocery store. Like, it's just scary when you're like, I just wanna get some bananas, you know? So I spent many days um, worrying that something was gonna happen to me, and if something did, then Elisha would be here by himself. And then now that Tally has come along, it's like intensified that. What if something happens while Dave's at work? What am I gonna do if I'm by myself and something happens and Dave is at work? Um, and it's this constant fear, and there'll be times where Dave's gotta work two or three days in a row, and I'm left in full panic. My body tenses up completely. Like, every muscle in my body tenses up. I have nerve pain, stomach issues, uh, you name it, I've probably had the symptom um, or are currently going through the symptoms right now. I'm wanting to document or talk about it while I'm still going through it. I know that 
most people want to give a testimony once they've gotten to the other side. But I want people to know that if you're stuck in the middle of it right now, we will get through this together. It seems so scary right now because it is, trust me, like I am living proof of it right now that it's so scary and it feels so real. And one day you'll be able to get up and do the things. And if today is not that day, then it's okay. Sometimes we need to sit and feel the hard feelings and work through them and process them and not push them away. And that's something that I'm learning in this season is that it's hard and it hurts, but I need to feel the feelings so that I can dig them up and get rid of them and learn to not push them back down. So that as I'm building my foundation again, um, I'm not building it on striving and building it from a place of healing and wholeness. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little PTSD clean with me. Um, if you want me to make another one or continue talking about this, let me know down in the comments below.